So here's question two. Uh, it says following lengths are given in meters. Use metric prefixes to rewrite them so that the numerical value is bigger than uh, one, but less than thousand. I think that's also known as engineering notation. So wait, is it engineering notation? Maybe not. So um, there's a hint, useful table of uh, prefixes can easily be found. It can be easily found online. And it's also part of your textbook, by the way. Uh, if you find your textbook and go to your textbook, uh, let me go to that. Um, here's the link to the textbook. Uh, there's an appendix to the textbook which will give you this information. Um, it under, let's see. I think it might, uh, okay, I, maybe I should just look at it as a part of uh, unit one. Okay, unit one, chapter one, units and standards. I think this is where I'll find the metric prefix, maybe. There it is. <laughs> so let me use this. Um, or, I mean, okay, I'm not going to use it, but, you know, if you don't have these standards uh, memorized already, then here's your reference. And you don't actually have to have all of them memorized, but it's good to know up to maybe this much. Uh, tera, giga, mega, kilo. It's good to know that, <laughs> what those are. It's good to know uh, what the smaller ones are. Centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. Uh, Femto is probably getting to be a little bit too small. So it's good to know what all those are. Uh, I have them memorized, so I'm just going to use my memorized knowledge. So, um, so uh, 3 times 10 to the 6. I know I can associate 10 to the 6 with a mega prefix. So I'm going to choose megameter. I don't know why it was appearing there. Um, so this megameter is already 10 to the 6 meters, so there should be 3. And by the way, these, um, these, so one, you have unlimited attempts, so you don't really have to be stingy with attempts. And when you submit a partially completed multi-part question, it'll actually grade only the ones where you enter the question. In terms, oh, it's saying correct for this and this. It, it'll only uh, grade you the, for the parts where you entered something. It won't uh, mark these as incorrect because they're blank, because this new style system is uh, smart enough to know that you didn't enter an answer, you didn't mean for it to be graded. Okay, so this one, um, I could say centimeter, then it would be 1.9 centimeter. I could say 19 millimeter. Let's see what my options are. Oh, I don't have the option for millimeter, so it's between centimeter and nanometer. And if I said a nanometer, I'll have to say 19,000, and that's too large. It needs to be less than 1,000. So it's going to be centimeter, 1.9. And you know, you're, you're welcome to do that. Let me just finish the remainder of the two. So 10 to the minus 10, that seems close to 10 to the minus 9. So that's nano. But if I did a nano, then this would have to be 0 0.42, and that's going to be wrong. So let me go down one more step. So it will be picometer, 10 to minus 12. And you work out the uh, conversion for the powers of 10, and this should be 420, I think. Um, so let me <laughs> write it out so I don't make a mistake. I have. Uh, I actually have ability to write on screen for this uh, virtual class session, so uh, that's why I do it this way. Um, so what I have expressed here is 420 times 10 to minus 12 meters. Let me just to make sure that's equivalent to this. So uh, each time I increase this by one, I have to move the decimal this way. So increase by another one, move the decimal this way. Yeah, so this is equal to 4.2 times 10 to minus 10 meters, which is what I have there. Okay, so that should be correct. Uh, let me keep going. 3.5 times 10 to the four. So kilometers will give me a power of uh, 10 to the three. So it's just, um, so there's a one factor of 10 left, so it should be 35 kilometers. Submit them. All right, all correct. Clear. Um, 